voice scooters. Well, here's the web page, and it's all very pretty, isn't it? Look, you can ride an electric scooter. You know, everybody pushes them gently. You know, they fly along. Everybody's sitting there happy, happy. Go shopping, go mountain biking on them. Look at the sunset on a scooter. That's what we do in urban cities. Okay, so here I am outside Northampton Hospital. Why? I've been visiting my wife. She's there long term. You pick up the scooter and I was fitting the camera and off we go. Now the noise as you can hear is quite loud. Uh, this is gonna be just a brief journey home. As you see, don't worry about my obeying of traffic laws, but uh, the ride is quite harsh. There is no suspension. You're totally dependent on the road surface. And here we go, we're just going down the road at the side of the hospital. To the left is still hospital grounds. Your maximum speed is 20 kilometers an hour, about 15 miles an hour. And as you see, it's quite rattly and um, yeah, you're at the mercy of the traffic. I'm just wearing a great big high-vis orange coat and it's it's not the ideal apparel. You know, I should have a helmet and knee pads and all the rest of it, but nobody does because, hey, street cred. I'm just driving on the other lane outside to beat all the traffic round this corner. I'm actually turning right at this point, just waiting for the traffic lights and uh, I'm going to ignore the stop line. Here we go, I'm going forward because I've seen the other lights change and I'm going to beat the traffic round the corner just so that I can get my road positioning correct. Now I will highlight some of the local buildings and places as we're going home. We're just about heading into the middle of town at the moment. It's a gentle road, it's not too badly surfaced. It wasn't done that long ago, which is why, as you see, the noise is actually quite subdued. Now I could ride up the inside of the traffic, but uh, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I may do one or two cars, but uh, let's uh, not push our luck. Do a couple, there we go. You know, now here we are, we're back on the old type of road surface and as you hear, it's rattling away. You can see the cracks. Now the old Savoy Seminar was built in the 1930s. We're passing BBC Radio Northampton on the left and the new college building on the right hand side. This is quite dangerous on a scooter. Not just the road surface, but you need to be in that other lane for the direction I'm going. So here I am, I'm making my way over and I'm trying not to hold up the traffic, I'm trying not to be an obstruction, but uh, yes I will be. Now they're all turning right, I want to be in this middle lane. We're just going to keep going and hopefully the lights... Here we go, we go through, we're going to pass the Crown Court on the left hand side. And uh, that pub I haven't labelled, it's the Charles Bradlow, it's an old uh, pub. So that's the Crown Court on the left and that's a 1930s swimming pool on the right. On the right hand side again we have the central fire station. It's not the only one in Northampton but that's, that does the town centre and uh, the surrounding area. Now we have the central police station, it's one of many buildings. Again, town centre building. We carry on down the road and again, road layout, very poor for scooters. The fact that you're limited to 20 miles an hour or 15 miles an hour and the road surface is rubbish means that it is quite dangerous. I actually want to be where that car is and until I get closer to the junction, I'm not going to move over. But I'm bouncing all over the rough surface. 
And here we are now at the opposite side of this junction. You'll see that I've labelled the casino. And we'll stop here at the lights. There's the casino over the other side. I'm going to be turning right here. I'm just waiting for those traffic lights. It's quite a simple journey, but you really don't want to be stopped for too long because the rental of these things is actually charged per minute. So every time you stop, you're paying for that, which, in my opinion, should actually be changed to a distance. If, if it was distance-based, then you could account for traffic and you could account for any other stoppages like these traffic lights. You know, a lot of people do jump the pavements, run all over them and uh, basically ignore the fact that these things are classed as motor vehicles and you have to ride them on the road. Now, it's catch-22. You, you, there are plenty of private electric scooters, but they're not actually road legal. We're only allowed these scooters by grace of government allowing us a trial of this system. Uh, just out of interest, on the left-hand side, we're coming up to what's known as the Gibraltar Barracks, which was built in 1797. And then as we carry on, we're going past the new International Academy, which was actually the post office sorting centre until not that long ago when they found it was falling down. So what did they do? They knocked the insides out and turned it into a school. Great, huh? Uh, another old pub on the right-hand side. Uh, let's keep going down the road. These, even the paint markings are bad on the feet. You can feel them rumbling through the wheels on this scooter. That flashing thing in the top left-hand corner we just passed was an ANPR camera, which uh, recognises number plates and looks for criminals. And we're, we're travelling along. This is the main road out of the town now, heading northbound. And we're passing a private school. And we're going to be coming up on the Catholic Cathedral very soon. And we're riding, as I say, we're staying... Now, that's a Starlink robot. They deliver groceries. You book them online and the shop puts the groceries in and away they go. They come to your house and then you tap the keypad on your mobile when it arrives. Catholic Cathedral on the left. And we're going down the road. On the right hand side, we'll be coming up to the old shoe factory. It's now separate business units, but uh, it used to be one of the main shoe factories in the town, which is actually known for its shoe industry. As you see, again, potholes, bad road. I'm trying to stay out of the main traffic lane. There's the shoe factory. Still bouncing along, rattling trying to avoid holes in the road. Here we go, garden machines. You can buy all sorts of lawn tractors and uh, mowing machines. Next to that used to be the old tyre dealers. They've moved house. Then we come up to the Fiat garage and the Alfa Romeo garage. And then once you've passed that, you're at the Seat garage. And funny enough, they're all in the same building. That's a storage center where you can do your storage wars, although we don't have that law in the UK. Um, there's all sorts of things about storage. As you see, big holes in the road. Asda is one of our supermarkets, used to be part of Walmart. And of course we'll come up to this junction. And a 
ride on the inside of this car and it's going to accelerate past, so there we go. This is an awful road surface at this particular point. Now the camera's having a job keeping focused. Now we're onto a nice new bit of road and this bit's new because of this supermarket on our left, the nice German Aldi supermarket. As you can hear, very little road noise. Now at this point, we're not half far from my house. Just uh, passing a school, Northfield School. Now that's for um, handicapped people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, disabled children go to that one. It's a very, very good school for those. On the left-hand side now, we're actually passing what's called Thornton Park and it's a very large public open space with some play equipment for kids. You can walk all the way down to the river, which goes all the way through Northampton. And it's just a, quite a nice park in the summer. At the moment, it's a bit sloggy and uh, muddy because it, it rained heavily yesterday. When I did this journey yesterday, I was absolutely soaked through, all the way through to me undershorts. Now, again, bad road layout. I've got to be in the opposite lane because I want to turn right. Now, unless I do the pavement jumping thing, this is actually what you should be doing legally, even though it upsets car drivers because you're moving so slowly. Across the junction, I'm going to highlight it very shortly, is what's known as the Cock Hotel. Originally built in the 1500s, it was rebuilt in 1893, I think it was. The caption will say, yes, 1893. We go across this junction. There's a Victorian tram shed on the right-hand side. And then we're going to pass the War Memorial on the right-hand side, which is surrounded by flowers at the moment due to a, a local incident. And we're coming up to where I need to turn right. As you see, the cars are all undertaking me because, as far as I'm concerned, they just think I'm a hazard. And uh, I, my life doesn't count. We're passing another branch of Asda, which is the one I locally shop at. And we're coming up again, being over undertaken, not overtaken. I know this looks strange maybe to the uh, American viewers, but uh, there's a Starbucks. I'm on the wrong side of the lane for the UK, but I have to be on this part of the road for going right. Now, ignore the fact that I'm about to break traffic regulations by totally cutting off the corner, going the wrong way over the giveaway lines, and then riding on the pavement, but hey, thinking of my safety and the fact that this is coming out of my pocket. So here we go, here's the junction where I'm going to turn in. Just avoid them cars coming down, nothing coming down the hill. Mind that private scooter, mind the pedestrians. And there is the parking bay. Now I could take it all the way home, but there's no point. And this is the end of the ride. So that was me riding a voice scooter, very lumpy, very bouncy. Thanks for watching.